Kyburn is present when Cersei holds court with Euron Greyjoy. Kyburn also attends court with Cersei when she addresses the Lords of the Reach, sworn to house Tyrell, to convince them to betray Lady Olenna for Cersei. When Lord Randall Tarly asks about how Cersei is going to deal with Daenerys Targaryen's dragons, Kyburn tells the Lords that he has been working on a solution. He later takes Cersei down beneath the Red Keep to show her his new modified scorpion to kill one of Daenerys's dragons, inviting her to test it on the skull of Balerion, the dragon Aegon the Conqueror used to unite the Seven Kingdoms and forge the Iron Throne. Kyburn and Esser Gregor are present in the dungeons when Cersei confronts Elaria Sand and her daughter Tyene Sand, who had murdered her daughter Marcella Baratheon. Cersei tells Elaria and Tyene that Kyburn managed to ascertain that they had poisoned her daughter with the long farewell. Cersei kisses Tyene with the long farewell and Kyburn gives Cersei the antidote. Cersei confers with Kyburn, who assures her the poison will mean certain death for Tyene, but how long the poison will take to kill depends largely on the strength of the victim's constitution. Kyburn and the others then leave a distraught Elaria to mourn with her dying daughter. Kyburn's scorpion is used in Battle of the Goldroad, when Bronn fires it into Drogon's shoulder. It succeeds at injuring Drogon enough to make him land. Angered, the dragon destroys the weapon with dragonfire shortly after. Upon Jaime's return to King's Landing and his secret meeting with Tyrion, Kyburn reveals to Cersei that she is pregnant. She dismisses Kyburn after Jaime walks into the room, allowing Cersei to reveal the good news to her brother in private. Kyburn is present at the meeting at the Dragon Pit, which he helped Cersei organize. He comes forward after Sandor Clegane begins cutting up the captured white presented to Cersei, reaching for the white's severed arm, and examining it with genuine curiosity, although even he seems somewhat unnerved by it. Kyburn gives the hand to Jon Snow, who then burns the white's hand to reveal one of its weaknesses.